Hello, I'm here. We got a new book, Rebel with a Rebel with a Cause or Rebels with a Cause. Reimagining boys, ourselves, and our culture. Sorry, I haven't been doing more videos sooner, but I've been under the weather. I wear my mask, <clears throat> but I told you I took it off to a PT, and everybody's sneezing on everybody. So that's what it is. You wear the BT to get your back working a little bit better, and then you get <clears throat> cold. So that's life. And this, I'm going to be dealing with this chapter, Mass Violence. Um, and we're going to have to deal with it. <clears throat> we're going to have to deal with violence. Because this society was created in violence. It's in the core of it. We could remake the society. But we have to recognize what the society was made of. We have to... Um, rip up the foundations of what it was and put new foundation down. That's it. When it comes to concepts, it it's a lot easier than when it comes to actual buildings. So it's easy to me, but some people, their mindsets, a lot of people, their mindsets are really invested in the old way, but they're going to die because this what we're doing is not sustainable. Sitting in his Mercedes Benz in 2014, 22-year-old Troy says into his cell phone, tomorrow is the day of retribution, the day in which I will have my revenge against humanity, against all of you, because for the last eight years of my life, I have been forced to endure an existence of loneliness. I've had to rot in loneliness. The following day, near a local college campus, he mortally stabs three roommates, one of them 94 times, and shoots and kills two women standing outside a sorority and a man shopping inside a deli. He also shoots himself in the head. Now, we got to deal with the bitterness that's rising in our society. And there's bitterness across this, this country, across the empire. And um, it's coming in everyday people, I know, because I fight it in myself, and it's a daily routine. And it can be exhausting sometimes. Sometimes when y'all don't see me doing too much work, it's because I'm fighting that bitterness. We, I'll say it again, we are group beings, or group animals, however you want to look at us, human beings. We need to be in groups. This whole idea that you can have your own individual truth with your own individual life that's not connected to anybody else is insanity. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Okay? It's madness. You can't. This never was a thing. And, um, um, just cut it out. Because that's a quick road to madness. And when you hear people who say that kind of stuff, and you listen to those people, you can see they're very insane, very disconnected from reality because they're disconnected from the world. Mass violence in which at least four people are targeted has increased dramatically over the past 20 years in the United States. With those under the age of 18 now being called children of the mass shooting generation, having lockdowns to prepare for such events is part of a regular school day for most children in the third decade of the 21st century they don't show you the mass shootings like they show you the urban shootings because they don't want to show you white people shooting up schools every day they don't want to put that on the news they don't want to put that on the news and i'm pretty sure white journalists and commentators wouldn't allow them to put that on the news. So you got to ask yourself, these black folks that are working in these newsrooms, why are you letting them put the negative parts of your community on the news every day when you know that's a small portion of what, what goes on in your neighborhood? I guess you got to get that paycheck. Two days after another mass shooter killed himself, <clears throat> His mother, 20, 20 children, 
and six staff members at his former elementary school, I asked a classroom filled with 12-year-old boys what they thought his reasons for suicide and homicide. They responded by telling me that he was crazy. I then asked them what made him crazy as there is no evidence that he was born that way. Two boys say loneliness in unison. And then one adds, sometimes feeling lonely makes you feel angry because you think that no one cares and then you act crazy. Boys around the room nod in agreement and slowly begin to share moments in their own lives in which they felt lonely and then acted out aggressively. With tears in his eyes, one of the boys discusses the time he broke off the head of his little sister's favorite Barbie doll because she and her friends had excluded him from their games. And so I had no one to play with. Boys and young men who do not commit violence often provide insight into the reason for the boys who do. They also reveal, as do the mass shooters themselves, that mental health problems, loneliness, and violence are tightly linked together. Of course. This is another thing that's done. Um, white violence comes from mental illness. Black violence just comes from um, our pathology. And that's another thing that's got to stop. Because that, the racism, the way this stuff is presented, is causing more bitterness. It's causing more bitterness because we know this is BS. If they have mental health problems, then we have mental health problems. If we're pathological, then they're pathological. It can't be like this. We're human beings, right? Now, we all know it's really mental health issues, but the society is creating mental illness. This society is structured under insanity. So if you're functioning in it, and the higher you're functioning in this society, the more mentally ill you are. You have to be, especially now because a large part of society has doubled down and tripled down on the insanity. Now, when 2020 showed us what reality could be for, for a small moment, and we went back, that's a kind of insanity that's worse than anything. Because if you're, you're born into madness, and you don't know anything, other, but when you're showed for a year what sanity could look like, and you go back, that's a certain kind of madness. And this society is creating madness. And again, we don't have to be stuck with the way things are. All the tools for us to evolve are here. Um, enough of the society has created tech and evolved that we can just go with that crowd and evolve out of this nonsense. But you... It's really up to us. In a study of 7,000 adults in England, people who were depressed were over 10 times more likely to be lonely than those who were not depressed. Even short periods of isolation had a long-term impact on mental health and can also lead to violence. Um, primatologist Harry Harlow in, 19, in the 1950s isolated infant and juvenile um, Maca keys for different periods of time to chart the social and emotional consequence. I think those are um, primates. He and his research team found that monkeys, yes, so I thought placed in isolation exhibited different levels of social deficits when introduced or reintroduced into a peer group, depending on the length of isolation. For those monkeys who were partially isolated, they were allowed to see, smell, and hear other monkeys, but had no physical contact with them. The consequences included blank staring and self-mutilation. Monkeys who were repeatedly separated from their peers and isolated were severely psychologically disturbed. Those monkeys raised in total isolation with no contact with other monkeys usually went into a state of emotional shock characterized by autistic self-clutching and rocking, with the effects being more severe the longer they were isolated. 12 months of isolation almost obliterated the animals, 
socially. Conducting similar experiments with mice, Graziano Pina uh, and his colleagues discovered, and his colleagues discovered that when you put male mice in a cage for a period of enforced solitude over four weeks, and then put another mouse in the cage with the first mouse, the mouse who was in solitude will initially explore the other mouse, then stand up on his back legs, rattle his tail, and aggressively bite the intruder, wrestling him to the ground. The longer the mouse is isolated, the more aggressive it will become when another mouse is put into the cage to join it. So again, you keep alienating us. You keep alienating people, boys, men, women, it doesn't matter. You keep forcing us into loneliness with this foolishness. And, and let me say, this, and I get it, and you're free to do it, this black men and women leveling up and high value male and I need a high value, all of this nonsense, isolating yourself from each other, is going nowhere and god help your children what are your children doing why y'all are doing this nonsense fighting back and forth with each other over nothing over some weird false concepts <laughs> leveling up and all this other nonsense uh leveling up and out of this world is what you're doing with heart attacks or strokes that's what you're doing that's all you're doing um stop it we're disappearing. Climate change is raging revolution on the on the world, on human beings. All this stuff is going on, and y'all are sitting talking about this foolishness. Please, please. And if you have children, definitely get involved with your children. Um, learn with them, teach them things. I'm not saying hang with them as their friend, but be with them, right, as they learn. Try to answer their questions. When you don't have answers, find out together, do research. And when they ask you questions about your life and why you're not with um, mommy anymore or daddy anymore or whatever the case may be, be honest. Tell the truth. Okay? Teach them about the realities of the world because I'm telling you, I'm telling you, there are a lot of adults that I know that are so deluded because they were sheltered from the realities of the world because all their parents told them is you just got to go to school and get a good job and pay your bills and now when they can't get the good job and can't pay their bills and and and, and realize oh there were systems and structures and things in place to block you they're losing their minds because what, what they have to come to grips with is that their parents were liars, <laughs> which they can't do. And it's driving people insane. So be with your children. Be honest with your children. Stop keeping secrets from them. Stop keeping family secrets from them. The stuff is mad. It's madness. It's complete madness and chaos out there. That's why I had to go back and study psychology just so I can function in this in this in this world because I was seeing so much madness and couldn't understand all the the foundations of it, all the plugs of what, what was making people crazy and what it was. I kinda had an idea, but I needed to study it to really understand it a little better. To really get in um a deeper grasp of it. And uh, all I needed was one class to realize <laughs> what it was. Or just one level one level one psychology book and you realize what some of the insanity is. And then you read a level one social psychology book and you realize, oh, this, this is where the madness is. There's just so much madness. Um, so again, I guess stop the madness. That's what we used to say. Um, and remember, we're in it together. We're group beings. And you keep isolating yourself, it's a recipe for disaster. Take care of yourselves, take care of each other, be safe, and um, just try to stay as sane as possible. I know it's difficult, but try. 
I'll see you in the next for the next class.